Good morning, good morning. It's Wednesday Wisdom. And we are here with the beautiful Debbie Zanke. How are you, Hello. Debbie? Good morning. I feel great. Thank you. Yes, ready for a little chat with Elizabeth. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so um, once a month on Wednesday Wisdom, we actually um, highlight a client story uh, just to share what we're doing in the background with um, conscious creation, um, conscious creator, mastermind, and how we're supporting people to actually truly live the life that they love and and move into their true nature and purpose. And Debbie um, has been a client for um, just over 12 months now. Yeah, June last year I signed up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so where were you before you started Conscious Creator? What was going on for you? What drew you in? Oh, so I was stuck and unhappy, really disconnected from my marriage with my husband, full of resentment for, um, because I was working and not taking any time for myself. I'd also experienced a lot of loss, so I built up these internal walls and knew that I was sort of, for the last few years, I was going, you know, I'm, I'm ready to peel back another layer, another layer. And um, so I'd seen you talk uh, talk at a um, local event. event. That's yeah. when I did my um, tour. Yes, yeah, on your road tour and um, really interested in what you had to say. Bonus was I won the door prize of a one-on-one -on -one with you. <laughs> And, yeah. Um, but then I attended, oh, it was a few weeks later, I attended your um, inner child workshop. And I felt yeah. so full of fun and energy after it, just free. It was just such a wonderful feeling. And I really connected with you. Um, you know, you, you're genuine, you're caring, you're fun. <laughs> like, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it felt a bit so goofy good. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we need that sometimes. In yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I thought I knew I needed to break down these inner walls and I needed help with it. So, yeah. Um, and guidance. So, um, it didn't seem like the perfect fit to me. It just felt right. So, yeah. And was the inner child that was uh, online, wasn't it? So, so oh, when we, um, I did the workshop at Murray Door. You actually, ah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So both of them were in person events, mm -hmm. which is interesting because um, I'm I'm being called to go back and do in a like in person events again. So. Yeah. No. Um, and so one of the things I know about you, Debbie, is you had a lot of loss in your family, right? Yeah. So um, most of my immediate family and then brothers-in-laws all passed away in their 30s, 40s and 50s. And so quite a few years ago, I decided I don't want that, you know. Um, Mum was the oldest at 59. So this year I turned 60 and it was such a huge deal for me. Um, but the thing with all that loss was one, building up those layers of, um, you know, don't love anybody 100% because, you know, you're going to get that. They're going to go. And um, then it was, uh, oh, see, I've lost track now. But just, yeah, oh, the, just the, um, yeah, not living life, not having any goals, you know, to go forth. Like my goal became, um, I'm happy to wake up this morning. You know, yeah, and yeah. Morning. And because I had troubles in my marriage, I couldn't see a future, like where did he fit in with it? Um, so there was a lot of not knowing. So when I started Conscious Creator, I I couldn't visualize a life at all. Like mm, I remember, yeah, yeah. So that was really, really hard. And I think because I was so focused on reaching 60, that was my goal, you know, like wow, yay, I've I've made it. So um yeah, just getting a little bit of direction, clarity. And then even through doing the course, it was just that support around 
oh my god I've I've reached this goal you know and you talked about the completion process like just stopping and pausing and look look what you can celebrate look what you've achieved mm. we're so we're so um busy in our lives aren't we you know like and and just moving from one thing to the other yeah. and not seeing whether it's something like you know um is it is it something that we actually achieved every element that we wanted or you know like you know just just constantly going 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 and not actually stopping or reflecting what could we do next or what can we what can we tweak you know to to support it to be exactly the way we want it to be or yeah yeah so and so so you were um you were working, right? You were working as a um, bookkeeper. bookkeeper. Yeah, so really restricted by it because working for small businesses, I was the only one doing the bookkeeping and the payrolls. So I'd be restricted by two um, fortnightly payrolls with a few of the companies because um, I had more than one, but, but you know, there was multiple. Um, and so, you know, if you want to go away on holidays, you were restricted by that two-week zone or you had to pre-prepare a payroll and then do adjustments after. And it just became too like, difficult. Messy. There was a number of stores. And what if somebody left, you know? Um, and then another client, I do all their end-of-a-month accounts. So I have to, you know, have all the match-ups beforehand to, to get authorization for the um, uploading and different things so really really restricting on my time and my family live well, well my sister is the only um full blood that I have left and her children over in WA so um and my my some of my besties are over there so I couldn't go away for any period of time you know you could do max out two weeks and then it was like trying to catch up with all these people so really restricted and I I just had enough. So yeah, last year with your guidance and support, I bit the bullet and I thought, right, 2022, last financial year for working, for doing all these bookkeeping things. And of course, you know, initially it's, oh my God, black, black mode, what am I going to do without the money? And yeah, um, but yeah, you, you know, just talking through with you and the group and it was the looking at different perspectives and everything and going well hang on how can I how can I do this what's the next step I can put in place and all I could see was the big pause at the end for for me like just to have space and time off to do whatever I want so I I booked a four-week holiday to WA next year early next year so I'm like yes <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah and had that that piece you know like that space before you jump into anything else yeah. yeah, yeah, and I, because of all my loss, I got interested in health and wellness, and and looking at you know digging digging deeper about um, why are we you know what what's going on in my body, just having this awareness of what affects our health, and um, yeah, so I I in twenty sixteen I graduated as a functional nutrition consultant and. Of course, all that those limiting beliefs of not good enough, you know, came in and not enough knowledge and how can I help anybody? And um, so I took on more bookkeeping clients. So build up as a distraction, right? right? We just <laughs> yeah, you know, really lit me up, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, so now it's like, am I did I want the consequences of owning a business? Like, uh, try, you know, now thinking further forward because, you know, let's be real, I still like to, I'm very much um, a little bit independent and that comes, I think, from dad dying when I was 18 and it was, you know, okay, you need to look after yourself, put things in place. So I, um, I still think, oh, well, I still like a little bit of money to do different things and, and, and there's still things I can do to help people. And and um, so I in, in 2017, I registered a business name called The Healthy Awareness because I think that's sort of at the core of it, just having this awareness of your body, your thoughts, your beliefs, what's, what's in your environment. Like, you know, we can get so focused on, 
just the losing weight that we forget about what's actually the health aspect of that yeah yeah Yeah. um even sometimes now i'll get the limiting of beliefs of feeling a bit of a um you know not not good enough because i think oh my you know i'm not great in my health but then i go well hang on deb it was 50 years plus beforehand that you you know you didn't exercise daily you sat on a at a desk day and night and um yeah so i I have to be a bit gentle with myself and remind myself that well that's what that's what's really interesting about recoding right is that like we're human so we're always going to have like we're not fixing ourselves we're always going to have those sabotage beliefs come up it's it's the awareness of oh okay there it is again it doesn't have as much charge as as it used to and and i'm aware of it so i don't go into that spiral before i recognize it i i recognize it at the start of the spiral and go oh okay that's there and i'm going to choose something different instead and you and, have the tools for us to yeah. be able to use that um, yeah i mean so many of us go i know what to do i'm just not doing it and yeah like, well like, these tools are here for a reason and getting out of that problem solving mode was a big one for me as well and getting into creation well okay well what do i actually want you know like, mm. how can i move forward into that and yeah what steps do i need to take and um and then that feedback of yeah. the feedback loop what, yeah what, what didn't like yeah you know um because i never used to reflect and i think it was because of just well, one, my head was so full of what was going on in the day to day. Yeah, so it's, yeah, pausing. And, and even on the chats, when we have our weekly chats, it's, you know, looking at a totally new perspective and some of the activities you get us to do. And uh, first up, when I started with, oh, my God, where, where should go with this? You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, my God. And, you know, and you'd think about it afterwards and just see this whole different perspective on it. And it was like, wow, you know, I've never dug that little bit deeper. Yeah. And, and seen it from this side. And yeah, so it's been, yeah, huge for me. Yeah. Um, so, yes, I, I didn't know what was coming up next. And then I knew that I didn't want to be in the bookkeeping anymore. And I... um actually had a big breakthrough a couple of weeks ago and signed up with a biz coach and who because I didn't want the consequences of owning a business that was you know it was like oh you know all that stuff. can I just pause you there that's yeah. what's really cool as well is not only not only recognizing when you're going to a sabotage belief but also recognizing what is the resistance as well so that might be the resistance, but it's also like the definitions that we've placed on owning a business or, you know, like whatever it is that's going on for you, you know, like there's, there's defining, you know, um, I, you know, I've, I've just done another exercise that, um, you know, I recognised from way back mm-hmm. that I wasn't allowed to express myself, yeah. you know, and so, you know, like, when you're in a in a situation and we'll be doing something similar on Wednesday oh, t- tonight, tonight. <laughs> yes yes um and so you know going back and finding what those definitions are where what what um we define ourselves so that we can then reorientate to you know like oh okay that's there now let's move forward so, you know, like for you to go, ah, oh, okay, it was a limitation around owning my own business. Now that I can see it, you can see as an adult that that's not, you know, similar to to me moving in with, with Tim, I could have gone, oh, well, there's these, these, these resistance, but actually what can I do to change that and shift that? <clears throat> and I created a house where I've got my own space that I can go on hang out if i need to from anyone if i if i decide to you know like so you can you can find ways around it oh for sure and and i had the big because of the um the business course we we do a mindset section of course and um 
luckily working with you, I ticked off a lot of that stuff. But then, yeah, the owning the business and it was, um, well, hang on a tip. The, the consequences of owning my business are allowing or owning a business is allowing me to live the life that I love. It's the, the freedom I desire, it's, you know, all these things. So you're just flipping it. You know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, what was the consequences, you know, all the regulations and the setting up and the, like even just the um, social The tech media, side. Everything, the tech side. And this, this, um, this coach and her course that she's doing, she helps with all that. She sets it up and it's just like, yeah. Yeah, so and it's, a, it's it's really interesting, isn't it? Because I think the week before you had that breakthrough, I think it was only a week or a couple of weeks. I remember you saying, "Oh, it's all the tech side and blah blah blah," and then all of a sudden you've come on and go, "Well, this thing has just come in front of me, and it's just like you know." And and as you're saying it, I'm like. Creator, <laughs> you know, like you just the boxes off. Yeah, like, just, oh, yeah. You know? Because that's the that's the beauty of being in you know the field, right? Is when you're you know I did a, a story on my Facebook. I've I've just got myself a little Harry Potter snowball, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's like a reminder of being in the magic of things. Yeah. Because yeah, so when we're in the field, we actually um are part of what's going on. Like we're actually in the energetics, a tangible, you know, cosmic field that brings things and creates things in our world to, to come to us, right? So we we create faster because we've collapsed time because we're actually drawing that in. Yeah, yeah. So where are you at now, Debbie? Because you know, like I, I remember it was stuck with your relationship. You wanted to turn 60. That was a really big one. We all celebrated that with you. Oh, and it was very 60. emotional the week before. I yeah. sobbed. I actually sobbed and I think it was just releasing. Clearing. Yeah. 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 And now the relationship with hubby is much better. I can see a future. Like yeah. um, they're reconnecting and stuff, which is really good. Um, yeah. Have, got that space for me happening soon with the holiday and then yeah and you've let go of the the bookkeeping you know like you've still got one or two you know I've like still got, I've still got one that um I was supposed to finish at the end of October and he hasn't replaced me and then with that little oh I can't let somebody down came, came in and I but I've said to him end of December that's it sorry gotta go yeah um, yeah so I, I have to be oh, changing boundaries. I had to yeah be strong on my boundaries and recognize just to up level, up level a little. And so so just as a side note, where did the bet like, you know, because when you're in conscious creator mastermind, I I give you awaken the lioness as a free course. Mm. Did you? Did you find your boundaries shifting because of ATL or because of CC? Um, I had started a little bit before I joined up with you. Um, yeah. Just noticing, the, noticing the noticing boundaries. The, yeah. And then, you know, just the way I was, yeah, letting too much in from others and not going, well, hang on a tick. I, I'm important. And yeah. I, I need space to do some fun for me, you know, because you work, you do the house, you, you, um, you know, studying. I was studying at night and everything. Looking after everyone, us women that serve, yes. yes. And it was like, so I'd sort of built up, well, hang on, I'm not tolerating that anymore, you know, or or you talking to me like that or blah, blah, blah. So, but um, do it, certainly doing the course. And and from building up and becoming happier within myself, it's it's made a big difference and improved other areas of my life, you know. I think well, isn't it interesting, isn't it? Because when, you know, we think that it's about changing boundaries and making, you know, making certain things, you know, stick. But when you actually shift your internal space and you become more happier, those boundaries sort of fall away a little bit because you can tolerate a lot more 
because you've got a bigger boundary circle, right? Yeah. And and then you can actually also when some someone sort of jumps over that that line, you can say it with way more grace and communicate. You know, your communication style is more. You know, like, hey, wait a minute, like, you know. Yeah. This and this yeah. is what I like and yeah. this is what I don't like and you've crossed it, you know. Yeah. yeah. And that was the other thing, not being able to communicate, you know, because as the age that I grew up it was, you know, you don't speak, you don't speak. Like we didn't speak at the dinner table. There was no talk loud, you know, they didn't allow it. So um that's a time when you connect with people. You know? Yeah, yeah. And just a whole pile of stuff and yeah, not wanting to rock the boat, keep the peace. Um, so that sort of came through on my marriage and so you know you wouldn't say anything because you didn't want to make anybody angry you didn't want that conflict yes so now it is yeah let's talk about how we're feeling in this you know and and yeah it's still you know dodgy at times like and uncomfortable but it's just that little layer getting better at a time Yeah. yeah yeah and and for those that um haven't experienced or you know and maybe new to the to the um page sorry the group um on facebook or wherever they're watching from can you explain what recode is to you and what's shifted yeah so um just the the process of um looking at those inner beliefs behind all these things that we have the world beliefs um the things that we've yeah, grown up with that you know you've, you've taken in from others and um just feeling lighter after it like yeah you know you have that resistance but until you actually dig to that deeper layer and get an understanding of where all this stuff is coming from and realizing well no that's not true you know um and opening um, it up opening and exploring it, it. Yeah, yeah yeah because we do we do, yeah we don't dig that deeper layer and um so yeah and then the recoding you just yeah you feel lighter after it like um and sometimes there's still quite a bit of resistance on a particular thing but you work it, you know, you do it again, do it again, and gradually it just oh it's Dis- not dissipates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I've changed and I didn't realise. Yeah, didn't realize, yeah. Oh god, I feel light. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sometimes it's like a it's um, you know, like you have a massive shift, and other times it's like, oh, that's not there anymore, and I didn't realise. Yeah. Yeah, it's just subtle. So mm. um, yeah, no, it's the other thing. I really got from doing conscious creator was being okay with both ends of the spectrum so you know that to if you want success you have to be happy with failure yeah I mean it's failure is a a learning within itself if you allow it you know and don't go oh god I'm crap I'm useless you know it's oh wow that's why that didn't work because of stuff and and for me it was unless I be comfortable with grief and I thought I was comfortable with grief when um shit happens became my motto um, yeah but you know you, you to love love totally like I've missed out on really loving totally and that yeah myself but it's also you know my children my husband my, my sister you know these these people in my life and um I've that's probably one of my biggest regrets. Not that I like to have regrets as such, it's but you know, that's the way I coped. I build up those blocks. So I'm yeah. very thankful for you for helping me work through it all. And um, uh, it's been such a pleasure. You know, I I love I love the job that I do because I don't see it as a job, you know, like when no. you when you do, you know, um when you're working with people and you're seeing them actually strip out, strip away all of that information that we carry around like baggage, like as you know, we own it and it beca- and it becomes our identity. And watching all of those layers strip off and actually seeing the woman that's underneath that that starts shining. Yeah. Um, it's it's such a pleasure, you know, like it's it's my purpose in life, you know, and so 
Um, and it's been such a pleasure watching you grow because you're one of the the silent, um, <laughs> you know, like you, I remember you know, like you always always present, but just you know, like watched you just be quiet and and then start you know blooming and and turning into that beautiful flower and you know like watching you just be diligent in the background and then you know it all started just you know coming together it was amazing yeah because I need time to process like I even in conversation sometimes up you know it used to be yeah someone would say something and well hang on I, I need time to process what you're actually saying and what I'm thinking about that and um but it had it like just being in the group with the other ladies, you know, that regular connection and watching them bloom, like, you know, there's a few of them there that have been on the long haul as well. And it's just like, oh, my God, from seeing them 12, over 12 months ago and now they're just bright, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. Just beautiful. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It is. It's awesome, isn't it? And that's one of the things about the, you know, the course is is that real connection with the community, right? Like they've got the Facebook group is very active and the support of everyone. And that's, you know, like the meetings in the evening um, where we all get to chat and, you know, like connect yeah, it's, and, it's and really monthly, beautiful. You've got the monthly support. You've not only got the weekly, you've got that monthly check in. Well, how are you doing? You know, what's been going on for you? Yeah, yeah. And, um, and you know, somebody else talking about a particular thing, and I'll go, I never thought of it that way. Yeah. yeah it's, um, how does that yeah how does that fit in with me does it you know and and we're not taking on somebody else's beliefs but just exploring yeah that's right being bringing that awareness in right so yeah, yeah. No, love it love it so if anyone's um been sitting on the fence and and um like watching and you know oh you know there's so many different courses out there and there's so many different things that you can do and one of the things that we talk about with recoding and, and conscious creator is that it's nothing like there's nothing else out there that is stopping like we're 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 not fixing you. We're oh. just we're just reorientating you to your true nature and purpose, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Not broken, not broken. It's no bro like yeah. society is broken, like yes. You know, so um so do what what would you say? It. Make yourself a priority. Like women just don't make themselves a priority. And mm. if you want to become the person you want to be, you need this. You need to do those digging deepers. And, mm. Mm. and yes, it's going to be uncomfortable, but how do you want to live your life, you know? Yeah. Well, that's right. Absolutely. Yeah living living in um, someone said to me once why is my comfort zone so uncomfortable yeah. <laughs> you know and it's because the unconscious would rather you be uncomfortable because it's, that's what it knows it yeah it keeps yeah. yeah you you yeah. survived it so it's okay with staying there yeah. yeah i um i watched a doco a few years back and this guy actually said I like to think of it as expanding my comfort zone. And I thought, yeah, I love that, you know. Yeah. But, um, just move it up. Just baby steps. That's yeah. All, you know, that's all you need. You, you, Yes, you might, like, you You might have this huge, hairy-ass goal. Yeah. But, oh, my God, scares the pants off me. Well, hang on a tick. I need to evolve to get there. And um, those, it's the same with your Those health. little steps. Baby steps, baby steps. Yeah. yeah 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 get it into being a habit right so yeah yeah so but yeah no definitely do it do it ladies yeah <laughs> thank you so much debbie it's been a pleasure you. having you and listening to your story and your leveling up thank you and um and yeah for anyone that's watching and is interested in finding out a little bit more about conscious creator and thinks that they're ready because right now, you know, consciousness is at that level where it's opening up to way more people the ability to wake up to what it is, that who we truly are, right? And so if you're feeling that nudge and you want some support with that, 
then just put yes please in the comments and um, my team will get onto you and we will we will um, organize a chat so that we can see if you're a fit for the course or not. Thank you so much, Thank Debbie. You. Take Thank care. You. Have a wonderful day, people. Yes. yes. Awesome. <laughs> Take care, ladies. Bye.